A glowing guest is passing through our solar system and it will shine brighter than Venus and the stars. In October 2024, Comet C-2023 A3 Suchinshan Atlas will pass Earth at a distance of just 70 million kilometers. Then, we will most likely get to see a breathtaking show. Comets can trail long tails behind them and light a beacon in the night sky for weeks, which you certainly don't see every day. It will be an absolute premiere when Comet C-2023 A3 Suchinshan Atlas passes very close to Earth in October 2024, as this luminous celestial body is one of the most recently discovered comets. It was first discovered on February 22, 2023, by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS for short, at the South African Astronomical Observatory. It was later also recognized by astronomers in China in images taken in January 2023. The Suchinshan Astronomical Observatory was involved here, and this is how this comet got its unusual and long name. C-2023 A3 Suchinshan Atlas will fly once into the interior of the solar system, then turn an arc around the sun, and then probably move away forever. The comet is expected to reach its perihelion, and thus its closest point to the sun, on September 27, 2024. We Earthlings will be able to admire the celestial spectacle best from October 2024. Researchers are already predicting that Suchin Chan Atlas will be at least as bright as the 2020 comet Neo Wise. If these forecasts are correct, we can look forward to a very special spectacle. Hundreds of thousands of comets orbit the solar system. Comets are mysterious objects. They often appear as if out of nowhere and some announce themselves years before their visit, but most of them we only see a few months before they pass the Sun and Earth. Comets most likely originate from the Oort Cloud, a gigantic collection of rocks and ice chunks that, strictly speaking, is already outside the boundaries of the solar system. Gravitational processes set objects from the cloud in motion from time to time, and then they fly on a long journey towards the Sun. We don't yet know what exactly triggers these comet flights. The Oort cloud lies so far outside the solar system in almost complete darkness that it's very difficult to study even with our best telescopes. Suchinshan Atlas made the long journey many years ago, and now it has appeared in our field of vision. Although comets can be several hundred meters to kilometers wide, they are rather tiny compared to other celestial bodies and this also explains why we usually only recognize them very late. During perihelion, on September 27, 2024, the new comet will come about as close to the Sun as the planet Mercury as it passes its perihelion. South of the ecliptic, it will not be visible from Central Europe. At the time of the perihelion passage, the alien visitor will be visible with telescopes in the evening until the end of June 2024 before it disappears behind the Sun for a while. After it has completed its close orbit around the Sun, the comet will then re-enter our field of vision from October, when it will delight us with its radiance and will most likely be visible to the naked eye for around a month. Due to its extreme proximity to the Sun, Suchinshan Atlas will most likely turn into a beautiful comet with a long, split tail. The tail is formed when the heat from the Sun vaporizes ice and gas from the surface of the comet. The release particles are then blown away by the solar wind and form the characteristic curved and often brightly colored tail. At the beginning of November, the comet's apparent brightness will then quickly decrease again and it will once again only be visible with telescopes. It is one kilometer wide and hurtling directly towards the Earth. Comets are fantastic celestial spectacles, but a lump like this could also be our undoing. Suchinshan Atlas measures about one kilometer in diameter, and if it were to hit the Earth, we would have a problem. A chunk this size could devastate half a continent and plunge the Earth into a global climate catastrophe. It can make you feel a little queasy when you consider that the comet is hurtling towards us at an incredible 70 kilometers per second. But we are lucky, and we can be pretty sure that Suchinshan Atlas will not hit us. The comet has set a direct course for the Sun and will not come close to any other planet. The dramatic fate of the comet Levy-Shoemaker, which collided spectacularly with Jupiter in 1994, 
and was crushed by the gas giant, showed us what happens when comets are attracted to planets. This event demonstrated quite impressively the enormous forces that can be released when comets and planets interact. Suchinchan Atlas has a safe orbit that brings it a little closer to the sun every day. And the closer it gets to the sun, the more it begins to shine. Researchers are already predicting a brightness of negative 1 to negative 3 magnitudes, which could mean that this comet will shine as brightly as the legendary Hale-Bopp. For weeks, this wonderful visitor from space will then shine much brighter than many stars and the planet Venus in the night sky. 2020, the year of Neowise. The year 2020 was not easy for many people. The pandemic had the globe in its grip and people were scared or bored. Neowise truly appeared here like a heavenly messenger of hope. With its impressive brightness and long tail, the unexpected visitor delighted us for weeks. Neowise first caught the eye of scientists on March 27, 2020. Astronomers from the Near-Earth Object Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, or NEOWISE for short, searched the sky around the clock for small celestial bodies such as comets and asteroids. Less than three months after the first sighting, the comet reached its closest point to the Sun. On July 3, 2020, NEOWISE, which is around 5 kilometers in size, approached the Sun at a distance of around 44 million kilometers. A large amount of ice and minerals evaporated from Neowise's surface, turning the comet into a true beauty. The solar wind blew the particles into a long, luminous, and divided tail. One tail consisted of ionized gas, the other of dust particles. Both tails offered a fascinating spectacle in clear night skies. And depending on the angle from which the beautiful visitor was observed or photographed, wonderful shimmers of color in red, green, or blue tones resulted. Most of the time, however, Neowise shone a bright white. The visibility of this comet was really exceptional. We saw it from July 2020, in the early morning hours and in the evening low on the horizon. Neowise reached a magnitude of about 1, which is not one of the highest values, but still offered a bright spectacle. As the comet moved on, it became visible in higher altitudes in July and August. Photographers and astronomy enthusiasts worldwide took advantage of this unique opportunity to capture images of the comet and its tail. And these images still inspire us today. As with all comets, this apparition was of limited duration. As Neowise moved further away from the Sun and Earth, its brightness gradually faded, and by September it was only visible with the aid of telescopes. However, Neowise is one of the comets that do not disappear forever. Due to its elliptical orbit, it will return in around 6,800 years. But we humans who are alive today have certainly seen Neowise for the first and only time. Hale-Bopp, the fairest and brightest of them all. Neowise was a spectacle. Suchinchan Atlas could shine even brighter, but no comet has been able to top this one comet for more than 20 years. Hale-Bopp, officially known as C-1995-01, has become a legend among comets and is the brightest comet of modern times. In 1995, it appeared on the radar screens of astronomers, and it was clear as soon as it approached that this was not just any comet approaching. Hale-Bopp was spotted on July 23, 1995, and the comet was already shining brightly when it was discovered, which quickly made it clear that a true beacon was coming to us from space. Hale-Bopp was around 15 kilometers wide and was spotted by two amateur astronomers named Alan Hale and Thomas Bopp. The comet was still far behind Jupiter, and yet the glow could already be seen. The brightness of the visitor of the century continued to increase over the course of its flight, and it soon became clear that Hale-Bopp would become one of the brightest and most beautiful comets in modern astronomy. Hale-Bopp reached its closest point to the Sun on April 1, 1997, and it did not come quite as close to the Sun as Neowise or Suchinchan Atlas. Hale-Bopp remained at a safe distance of around 137 million kilometers. However, this did not detract from its beauty. A lot of ice was naturally sublimated from the 60-kilometer-wide chunk, and the dust tail also glowed fantastically in the solar wind. 
LBOP reached a maximum magnitude of around negative 1 and was even visible to the naked eye for weeks in urban areas with light pollution. In rural areas, the celestial visitor could be observed for months. Hailbop was hard to miss, and it didn't take long to find it. The tail stretched across half the night sky at times. Many people were deeply moved by this sight, and Hailbop dominated the media for weeks and months after its disappearance and remained in people's memories for a long time. Hailbop will return in 2,500 years, so it's clear that we have only seen this wonderful comet once. Now you might be wondering whether another comet might come along in the next few years that has what it takes to be a Hellbop 2. Suchinchan Atlas could reach a magnitude of negative 1 and thus the brightness of Hellbop. But this comet is much smaller. Several factors determine how bright, colorful, and clearly visible a comet becomes. The larger the nucleus, the more material a comet can release, and the larger the luminous dust and gas envelope and tail will be. However, it's not only the size that is decisive, but also the reflectivity. Comets with brighter surfaces reflect more sunlight and therefore appear brighter. Finally, the proximity to the Sun and the Earth also play a role. The closer a comet is to the Sun, the more it heats up and the more gas and dust are released, which increases its brightness. And the closer such a chunk comes to Earth, the better we can see it. On June 30th, 2024, a comet will pass by that returns every 69 years. 13P slash Olbers has already lost some of its material due to its many flybys of the Sun and will therefore probably not be quite as visible. Since we don't know many comets, we always have to expect a surprise. A new Hellbop could appear on our cosmic doorstep practically any day. Become a subscriber now and never miss a new video again.